So what do you want to say? Um, we're just very excited to be a part of this. It's Danny yeah, Wong. We you love like meeting a celebrity Danny. in real life. So after a long, after a very long day of school and all that, we just decided to pull up to Monty's, have a couple of PK3s. You met some fans. I mean, I met some fans and some great people too. That's what really matters though, actually, some yeah. great people. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny. A lot of you guys always ask me, how do I balance academics and my school life with social life and going out with friends? Well, instead of making a really boring video like this one, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to balance academics and school with social life. I think I'm just gonna show you guys my day and tell you how I get it done. Obviously right now I'm on campus, I'm focused on school, I actually have a really important midterm later in the day, but at night I might be going out. Today is a classic example of a work hard, play hard type of day. I come to school, go to classes, study, do a midterm, but then when I'm done with working, I play hard. And I know it sounds really weird when I just say all these things, but if there's one tip that I have for balancing a social life and school, is that when you're on campus, when you're in school, when you're in your classes, just strictly focus on school. And then when you're out and about, when you're with your friends, when you're going out, focus on having fun. Don't worry and stress about school because you already went through that. What's up, baby? Welcome to the U. What are you guys up to right now? Uh, just waiting for class. Just waiting for class, yeah. Waiting for class. Starbucks. Of course. Classic the move. Must. Classic yeah, move. Must must have it. It. All right, guys. Good luck in class, all right? Have a good one. Have a good one. If you can make that clear distinction and like do things when you're supposed to and just like manage your time wisely, you'll be set. But I'm also gonna be a dad and say that academics do come first, which is why I always start my day in the library. Guys, I've always said library. It wasn't until I started reading my comment section that I realized that you actually pronounce it library. I don't know if it's like me not speaking proper English, growing up in Miami, living in a Cuban household. I don't know what it is, but I still say library. My midterm today is for my gross anatomy lab. For those of you that don't know what a gross anatomy lab is, it's pretty much like you learn anatomy with a cadaver, which is just a dead body. I really enjoy the lab. It's really cool like learning real anatomy from like a real body, but it's really hard to study for the class just because I like don't have a body to study with. You and my reflection, I'm afraid of all the things you could do to me. lunch day going not only is the salad really good but we get to enjoy the music while we eat lunch the good thing about today's lunch is that I got to enjoy it with Josh we enjoyed the day we enjoyed some music the bad thing though is that I am like 20 minutes late to class and like I know it's senior year but like at the same time like I gotta get my together we're like over a month into the semester and I don't think I've ever been to this class on time but unfortunately since this is a non-athletic training class knowing me and my tendencies that's how I think it's gonna stay I just got out of my dance class and now I am on my way to the next class but here's the deal since my next class is gross anatomy I have to change into these scrubs and drive all the way to the medical campus the locker rooms in the wellness center are closed I'm too lazy to go to a bathroom so I usually just change right out here in the parking lot so if you're ever in the parking lot by the wellness center and you're like what is that weirdo doing changing it's me getting ready for class this is me with my regular clothes And this is me with scrubs, ready to go to Gross Anatomy. So for those of you that don't know, the med school is like about a 20, maybe 30 minute drive from the main campus in Coral Gables. Also guys, even though I'm doing it right now, never vlog and drive, especially in Miami, unless you have like a certain level of experience. It's very dangerous and it's not covered by insurance. I've actually thought about doing like a carpool karaoke type thing where like I sing and you guys hear my really bad voice. When I like drive, let me know if you want to hear that. You probably don't because my singing is ass, but I thought I'd suggest it. All right, 
we made it to the med campus. I always get a lot of comments being like, oh, where is the med campus? Like just stuff about the med campus. So like, yeah, this is this is part of it. I can't really vlog like inside of it because it's like a hospital slash med school. So like my professor literally looked at me in the eyes. He's like, Danny, if you're here, you cannot vlog. But guys, I came here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is take my midterm. <laughs> So I just finished my, ooh, I just finished my exam. I think I did well, but like that's what I say about every test at the end of the day. I can't really say anything until I get my grade. But guys, this video was about working and playing hard. This morning, this afternoon, all I was doing was studying, working, going to classes. Now I am officially done with that part of my day. My mentality completely changes. I just finished a midterm. There's no way I'm gonna do anything school related right now. I have nothing to worry about. Okay, I have a test like next week, but I have the weekend to catch up. Before I start getting ready to like actually go out and meet up with my friend there is one last thing that i have to do and that is run i think a lot of people sacrifice fitness and working out just to like go out people have this idea of like oh i don't have time to work out i don't have time to like go out for a run yes you do you just have to make time for it i think i'm meeting up with my friend in like an hour so i'm gonna get in like a quick 30 minute run which i always do and he's like yo danny like why did you run before like we went out like what's the point of it Point of it is, I want to feel good, I want to stay fit. So if you see that you're struggling to like balance everything out, balance school, working out, then like going out and having a social life, why don't you do this? Every time that you have plans to go out, like an hour before, go out for like a 30 minute run, get in a quick workout, and that could be a really good routine on the long run. All right, but let me shut up and let me do my quick 30 minute run. Say. Um, we're just very excited to be a part of this. this day yeah, long. We feel like I'm meeting a celebrity in real life. So after a long, after a very long day of school and all that, we just decided to pull up to Monty's, have a couple of PK threes. We met some fans. I mean, I met some fans and some great people too. That's what really matters though, actually, some yeah. great people. But honestly, how often do you guys come to Monty's? Do you guys like Monty's? Oh, like yeah, like once or twice a week. There's nothing else to do right now, so it's like once or twice a week. So since everything is closed, we come to Monty's a lot because they are taking every precaution possible. It's also just a really good time. It's really affordable for college students. So we just enjoy it, right guys? So earlier today, I went to class, I studied, I had a midterm, but guess what I'm doing right now? It's all about working hard and playing hard. Like I said earlier, when you're in class and in school, you focus on, you know, your academic life, but when you're out with like all your friends, you don't really focus on academics. You just focus on having fun and having a good time. What's up guys? Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm just reminding you all to stay hydrated. Have a good one. Anna, so tell me, how's the water? I got six months to go, so I'm 21, so this water here, they're very strict with wristbands. No, they do have wristbands right now, like actually, like I remember in the spring, they had the wristbands going and now they have them going on again. So yeah, they're being really strict about it. Guys, Jay, after a very long day, I just want to enjoy the night with my friends. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. That is it for me, but always, always remember to stay hydrated.